Let's begin. Hey there. Our professional team has experience and we can assure you that you will get the best services. That's why we're the top choice in our town and why we manage to maintain the highest level of service quality for our clients. Check out what some of our past clients have to say about us. Real estate, real estate with real with Realtor, Realtor. Kasha, Kasha, Kasha. Sohail. Sohail. Welcome to Washington America Show with international multimedia journalist, multidimensional, multifaceted artist and director of Human Rights Justice Council USA, Dr. Kashif Sohail. Sohail. The path to success in real estate investing can be a short, straight one or a long, winding one. A lot depends on the individual. You have to be absolutely sure before you start that flipping is a path you are going to want to continue on. It has to suit your personality and work style. major characteristics can predict whether someone is a good match for the flipping lifestyle. You need to be self-motivated and entrepreneurial. Some people thrive when they can manage their own schedule and decide how and when they're going to work. They love being their own boss. But being your own boss doesn't mean there is no boss. It means you have to be the boss. Newbie real estate investors will probably still keep their day jobs. Being prepared to work at the flipping business before and after your regular job, and on weekends, is a huge mental and emotional commitment. Every call you make won't be answered. Every bid won't be accepted. Every project won't be completed on time. If you don't have the internal drive and the ability to self-start, flipping is going to be difficult. Every aspect of house flipping goes back to helping people in some way or another, and if you love that, you will be motivated to do the work required. You're helping the previous owners by purchasing the house, the local contractors you hire to work on it, the neighborhood where your newly beautified property is located, and the new home seekers who will eventually buy the house. You've got to get satisfaction from that. The lower the initial investment you make in a property, the lower the barrier to getting started on your flipping business. The good news is that you don't need a lot of savings set aside to get going on your first house. In order to be competitive you're still going to pay for each house up front and in cash, but you're going to be using funding from the lender instead of your own money. You don't have to be independently wealthy, anyone can get started in the business if you know where to look for funding and how to approach potential investors. The main consideration is weighing the difference between private money lenders, hard money lenders, and partners. You don't need a lot of savings set aside to get started with your first flip. Everyone wants to know how much risk they're signing up for when they start flipping houses. It can vary depending on the house, the area, and the current real estate economy. No two flips are alike, so it can be difficult to predict exactly what kind of risk you're taking on with each property. You might not be able to get into the house before you buy it. There might be unexpected structural damage. The market might not be what you'd hoped when you started. All of these difficulties can be overcome, and you can still make a profitable flip if you are able to make the tough decisions.
to be a successful flipper, you absolutely need to be willing to take risks. Any entrepreneurial venture involves some degree of risk, and flipping is no exception. Some of the less than glamorous aspects of flipping include doing your footwork to find good deals, looking through all the property documentation and knowing when to call in outside help from contractors and specialists. Educate yourself, learn everything you can about the real estate business, with the emphasis on single-family houses. Make it a goal to read for an hour every day. Go to local real estate clubs and continue your education. Find a good mentor, someone who's already accomplished what you've set out to do. Study them, what did they do right? Be willing to pay for good advice. Digest the new info, make a plan, and take lots of action. Strong belief and faith in you is essential. For a wholesaler, you have to get over all the equity left on the table. For a retailer you should have a team. You might do the first few by yourself, but for the long haul you need a good team. Your team can make or break you in this business. It is a fantastic way to learn the business while making some money. You should network with as many people as possible who are already doing it as this will give you much of the experience that you will be lacking. Read the purchase contract and understand it fully as well as hone your skills on valuation. Much like a contractor must have his skill set and tools to do his job so must you in this business. One of the things that an investor needs to have is an open mind, while also paying close attention to the downside risk of a transaction versus focusing only on the potential profit. Learning from other experienced investors, having folks to bounce ideas off of and look at your deals will save you a lot of time, money and keep you from making costly mistakes that could be avoided. The one thing everyone needs to get really clear on is that your number one job is marketing. Without a steady stream of leads, you'll be out of business before you ever get started. Buy a great big wall calendar and write down all of your marketing activities whether it is direct mail, bandit signs, or one of the other marketing strategies and commit to doing these things every week no matter what. Rather than close on the property, fix it up and then resell it to a retail buyer, instead, simply flip the property to a contractor investor buyer. Wholesale the property to a full-time contractor who buys rehabs and resells one or two properties per year. They save a tremendous amount on renovation costs because they are their own contractor. Some investors make profits on each sale, they use that profit to fund larger and larger projects. This makes sense to them at the time when real estate appreciates so quickly. Rather than using their own money for rehabbing the homes, they tap an equity line loan that grows larger by the passage of time. Of course, when the real estate merry-go-round, stops, and the appreciation evaporates, they get stuck holding property that nobody wants to buy or rent. And they go on the hook for a very large equity line that they can't afford to pay. As a result, they lose the real estate empire they worked so hard to build. When you flip homes, you must move quickly. Not only do you need to buy quickly, you need to sell the house fast and that means you must sell under market. If you wait for the buyer who is willing to pay top dollar, you'll wait a long time and increase your risk that the market may turn against you. You'll also lose valuable time that could be used flipping other homes. If your profit is $30,000 per deal and you flip three houses in a year, you pocket a sweet $90,000. But let's say you hold out for more profits and you can only turn two houses in a year. Even though your profit might be $40,000 a deal, you still earn $10,000 less. It's a good idea to buy property that's reasonably priced. You have to master your market and find good realtors to work with. Realtor can help you a lot to achieve success.
Even though you profit when you buy the house, you want to flip property in an appreciating market. If you live in an area that isn't appreciating, you might be better off doing this somewhere else. You can't predict when the market is going to turn. To be on the safe side, make sure that you'll be able to hold on to the home as a rental property for a while, if need be. In order to make money in this business, you must understand what work a house really needs, what that's going to cost and how that will impact your offer. That sets the stage for you to do all the work, sell the house under market and still make a profit. Your best bet is to buy real estate that needs cosmetic work that is inexpensive to perform yet makes the property much more attractive to buyers. The secret to making money flipping houses is to buy right and slash risk. You buy right when you understand your market and your repair plan. You cut risk by using more cash. If you are interested in getting into this business, your next step is to figure out how much money you have or can put your hands on using lenders. Next, scope out the market that makes most sense and find good realtor to work with. Realtor can be an excellent help. Take these steps first and then make sure you expertly understand the market and property rehab. At that point, you're ready to go. So, since you've learned more about us, Click the link in the description to see how you can contact us. Please share this video, subscribe to our channel. Are you looking to buy or sell a home anytime soon? If so, you've come to the right place. We'd like to give you the opportunity to work with one of the top local real estate agents and get the best deal when buying or selling a home. The fact is, experienced agents can often get you a 2 to 10% better deal on the purchase or sale of a property, mostly due to their experience in the local marketplace and their ability to negotiate the best deal. So contact our top agent now and start the process of buying or selling your home. I really hope you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching.